Welcome to our VAX tutorial. Today we'll be showing you how to initially configure a controller panel. As you can see there are four buttons on the bottom right here. These are four control buttons on any panel be it a VAX 1 door, which is what we have here, VAX 2 door, VAX multi-door panels, VAX IO panel, or VAX elevator panel. They'll all be the same. So with these four buttons, you'll be able to navigate into the menu on the panel and be able to change the panel settings as we'll do now. The first thing we'll do is to enter the LCD menu. To do this, we hold the enter button down for about three seconds until we see the setup password with the digits 0000. This is the default password which you can later change in the VAX software. To confirm the password, press escape. We're now in the main panel menu. Typically the first entry you'll see is the server IP address. This is the IP address of the VAX server. Before we get into this, what I'd like to show you is another way for the panel to communicate to the server. One way to communicate is by the server name. If the server is on a DNS network that is pointed to a DNS server, we can then enter and type the server name. In this case, we want our panel to communicate to the server via server IP address. So we're clicking on the white keys to get back to the server IP address, click enter, and now we're going to show you how to change this address to match what's on the VAX server. As you can see here, the first digit is blinking. When you click on the enter key, it highlights that digit and allows you to change it by clicking on the up and down white keys. Once you change to the number that you want, press enter to save it, then click on the right key to the next digit. Again click enter to select the digit and then click on the up and down white key to change it. What we'll do is change this to the server IP address. In this case our VAX server IP address is 10.10.10.1 so we'll change the address here to reflect that of the VAX server. Here it's shown as 010.010.010.001. We'll press escape to save and then press enter to confirm the save. Next we'll scroll to the server port. By default it's 09876. This is the TCP IP port through which the server communicates to the panel. Unless you need to or want to change it, you can leave it as is. The next thing is the server con mode, which is short for connection mode. If you click the enter button, you'll see that you can connect to the server by the server IP. The other options are auto or server name. Since we want to connect by server IP, we'll go back to option 1. Press enter to select this option, and now press escape. And then if we want to save this, press enter. If we don't want to save it, then press escape. In this case, we'll press enter. The next item is the panel com mode. So again, we'll press enter to get into the menu. By default, the panel is set to 1, DHCP client. You could choose this option if you have a DHCP server on your network and you want it to automatically assign an IP address to the panel. If we want to assign a fixed IP address to the panel, then what we'll do now is change this to option 0, which is static IP. In this case, that's what we're going to do and we'll press enter to choose this option. Again, press escape and then press enter to save. 
Now we'll scroll down to the next item, which is the panel IP address, and then select it to change the IP address. Now we'll change this IP address to the address that we want. The next thing is the subnet mask. By default, it's set to 255.255.255.0. And you can change this if needed to match your network scheme. Then finally, there's the panel gateway. Again, you can change this to match your network switch gateway IP address. Once you finish that, this completes setting up the panel IP address. What you should see now on the VAX client on the main menu, on the right notification area is unknown panel highlighted in red appear. So that would be this panel here. That concludes this tutorial. Please view our next video on how to configure a panel in VAX.